Hello guys, Spartan Cat, and in today's Battle Cats video, I will be ranking relic enemies from very easy to merciless. So, this is the first ranking video in a while. I ran a poll a while ago, and the majority of you guys wanted to see a relic ranking video. So here we go. Getting into it? Um, I did want to say, I have not encountered all of these. I'm only about 10 chapters in Uncanny Legends. So... You know, feel free to disagree with some of the rankings. Um, I'm going to rank them to the best of my ability. But I'm trying. I'm here. I uh, I know where most of these enemies stand, but there's some of them which are, you know, definitely going to be debatable. So make sure to tell me what you guys think in the comment section. But getting into this, we have Relic Hermit Cat, which I didn't even know existed. Probably the boss at some point. Um, from I've he From what I've heard about him. He's pretty hard. I'm going to put him insane. Once again, never fought him, so make sure to let me know down in the comments what you think. Always open discussion. All right, next we have this puffer fish, which I think we could all agree on is hell. Um, this puffer fish absolutely sucks. Super annoying. Worse than the alien car counterpart. Um, yeah, it's going to go in the deadly tier. It's pretty bad. Next we have this rhino. And honestly, you bring in some meat shields, you bring in some anti-relic units, um, you're in good hands. Could be hard for people just starting in it, but I'm going to put it in medium. I know it has a lot of power, but, you know, compared to a lot of the enemies on this list, it's nothing. Alright, next we have this moth. It goes in the same boat, but it's easier than the rhino. Um... You know, not super easy, but there's a lot harder enemies. So, if you were to compare these to, you know, like a teacher bear, obviously they're going to be hard, but I'm comparing this relative to relic enemies. So, this moth will go in the medium tier. I'm honestly, you know, if that's the boss of the stage, then it's a really good day. Alright, next we have the relic cyclone who, you know, any of these big bosses that are relic are probably going to be difficult. And the Cyclone's no exception, you know. You could use a lot of um, long-range units, bring in your meat shields. Um, if you have true form Catman, he's useful. Um, not the hardest enemy, but he's he's up there. I'll put him in the insane category. He's got a lot of push power. Next, we have this thing, which I absolutely hate. The, you know, the bee. The Advent bee. I'm honestly stuck on it to this day. I've beat the original one fairly easily. This one's not budging. So I'm going to put him in Delhi. Her in Delhi. Next we have Mechabun. Another enemy I was stuck on for a long time. Um, so with Mechabun. You can't really use anti-floating against him. So you, you got to rely on. Having. Units that could. And backliners that can freeze him. And then slow him. So you're going to want. True form rodeo for him. You're going to want. I had Kronos which helped. Um, you also got to keep in mind he curses enemies, and there's going to be, you know, the dogs and stuff that will curse your frontliners, and then he has range, so, you know, bring in some units immune to curse, and that could curse him or whatever. Not Papa Luga, obviously, but, you know, bring in units that could take care of him. I was stuck on him for a good amount of time, so the advice I can give is get Rodeo Cat, True Formed, and, you know, if you have any other units, I'd bring them in. There's some pretty hard units on this list. He's going to be up there. Um, I'll put him at the top of Deadly. But my personal experiences with him were not fun. Alright, moving on. The Doge. Arguably the easiest enemy out of all of these. I'm going to put him in easy. You know, you see one it's not much to fret about. These squirrels, they look like innocent meat shields. But they really are not innocent. You know, they run through your, your front lines. They curse you guys. Uh, you know, they'll curse all of your stuff. And if you let a group of them attack your base, you'll be dead in a few seconds. So I'm going to put them in medium. You know, one on its own isn't too bad. You know, can 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 counter them pretty well. But in large masses, you're going to need to bring out the big guns. All right. Next, we have Mastulala, but in relic form. So the original isn't too hard to beat. But relic. This is one of the units I can't rank very well. 
Uh, you can all of the uh, the legend rare counterparts of them. I'm gonna have a little bit of difficulty ranking, but I'm going to attempt to rank them, and I'm gonna put them in insane. Once again, open to discussion. Some of these rankings, um, I'm not too familiar with, but this video is in high demand, and I know most of the units, so I figured I'd make it. I took a bit of time to grind through a bit of Uncanny Legends, get a bit more of a feeling for it, so that's why this video has been put off for a bit. All right, next we have uh, Dagararu, Dagamaru, yeah, Dagamaru, Relic. Um, you know the the boss who originally fights pretty decently hard, so he's gonna go probably ahead of the rest of these guys and insane. Moving on, I always forget his name, but anyways, he's gonna be hard. I know he's probably hard, and once again, gray area. But I know I'm kind of going off the original. Then I'm thinking that they're relics, so they're gonna be even harder. So, I'll put him in the back end of Deadly. Urzen Fenner, Relic. I'm not too sure, honestly. But once again, um, I'm going to imagine it's decently hard. I'm going to place it somewhere in Insane. And this thing, um, another counterpart. Um, I'm going to say he goes in Deadly, but once again, you guys correct me on that. Emperor Cap here. Um, you know, decently hard. I fought him before. Um, he's pretty difficult. I don't think I beat the stage I fought him in. So, I'm going to place him uh, back end of Deadly. You know, not a lot of experience with him, but I know he's a strong unit. So, I'll place him there. Relic Sunfish Jones. So, the thing with him is, regular Sunfish Jones isn't very hard. And compared to other bosses, this one isn't too hard either. So, that's nice. Um, You know, you fight him pretty similarly to how you would with any other variant of Sunfish Jones. You know, you try to rush through him. Um, knock him back and stuff. Kill him. Wake him a homicide. So, I'm going to place him in hard. I hope be the first one of the hard unit list because... He's not really a boss on his own, in my opinion. You know, if I, if he was the boss of the stage, I, th I would think it's a pretty easy stage. And you could, um, you could definitely execute an attack on him. Awaken Bahamut Cat, Balrog, Can Can, you know, all these units that could rush him, even Cats in the Cradle. Um, but you know, Relic enemies are almost always just a buffed variant of the normal counterparts. And they have Curse on top of that, so keep that in mind. Curse will, if you don't know, Curse stops your units from using their special abilities so you know that if you know you have nurse cat who slows and knocks back floating an alien then no floating in black then she will lose the ability to knock them back and slow them so curse takes away the ability of a unit that you know that ability would allow them to have a special upper hand against enemies but that's gone so keep that in mind when you're fighting relics Alright, I'm not going to attempt to rank him, you know, the other units I thought I had a chance with, but I've never even seen that unit before, so I won't rank him. Um, next, another unit, which I honestly don't think I could rank either. I'm not going to rank him. I'd rather do most of the list pretty well than throw in these guys, which I can't rank and ruin the list, so I don't want to throw people off. I won't rank them. Next, we have this uh, Relic Lemur. Who, trust me, is pretty annoying. It has a long reach and it does exactly what you don't want it to do and it curses your units. So, if you have any talents that can use any anti um, relic units that have immunity to curse, bring them in against them. Other than that, his stats are manageable. Um, but I'm going to place him in hard because he always comes in hordes. And um, when they come in groups, they can perma curse your units and they do some damage too. So, they're definitely going hard. They're uh, they're semi difficult to fight in mass quantities, but nowhere up there with those guys. Um, next we have this floating head. Uh, he's one of the units you'll fight somewhat often. Um, he has a lot of health. 
He doesn't have a lot of damage, but he attacks really rapidly, so all of your units are going to get cursed. So just bring in your high damage rushers. Eventually, they'll take care of him. Um, you know. Um, you could also try to outrange him, curse him. I know there's some units that, if you can curse him in time, perma curse him too. Um, it makes it a lot easier. But if you don't have those units, it's fine. Just bring in rushers. At this point in the game, you should have rushers maxed out. Or, you know, true formed. Maxed to their normal levels. But, the face is going to go in insane. And insane isn't unbearable. But, you know, he's a difficult enemy. Not compared to the ones above him, of course. But he's difficult because of his health and the permanent uh, cursing. Alright, next we have this. And I think we could all agree this might be the most annoying enemy in the entire thing here. This and the squirrel, maybe the pufferfish too. Um, you know, it might not be the strongest stat-wise, but they come in groups. Everyone hates them for a very good reason. Um, you thought the normal ostrich was bad. Well, you haven't fought him yet. So, I'm going to put him in insane. Somewhere in, in insane. Um... You guys just, if you haven't fought him before and you're, you know, you're on the brink of Uncanny Legends, be prepared. They come in groups. They will destroy your front lines if you don't have adequate meat shielding. And you want at least a, nu a few nukers and rushers in your deck or something like that. Um, they really are a lot to deal with if you're not prepared for them. So, be prepared for them. Just imagine you're going to fight one in every round. And if you don't want to do that, you can always go on to the Battlecats fandom and see the stage information. But... Jesus, um, yeah, not a fun enemy to fight, and I feel pain for all the people who've died to them, but, uh, that's it, I'm not gonna rank these two units, I don't wanna give a bad ranking to them, but this is my list from Very Easy, which none of them fall under, to Merciless, which I don't believe any of them fall under, but there's, you know, a good amount of deadlies and stuff, you can make a case for some of them moving up, I know the Cyclone can go here, potentially, um, for me, Bun Buns are merciless. So I'd, I might put them there. Uh, you could alternate between them. Same with this B. But, um, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss another upload. And if you guys agree, disagree, anything like that, leave it down below in the comment section. I like hearing different opinions. And it helps me grow as a creator. So feel free to drop any suggestions you have. Spawn Cat, signing off. And I'll see you guys in the next video.